Hello and welcome to another lecture. Today I will be lecturing on HD TV antennas. The first antenna I'm going to show you is one that I've seen a lot of people building, which is the one that looks like this. Right now, with it laying flat on the table, it's not picking up anything. But when you pick it up, you go like that and turn it. You can tell how directional it actually is. I'll show how I built that in a minute. This next antenna is known as an egg beater antenna. As you can see, it works a little bit better than the other one. The other HDTV antenna that I see everyone building. I'll cover how I built this in a minute. This next antenna that I'm going to try is my long wire antenna outside. It's a 65 foot long piece of wire strung across the yard. That one stays pretty constant. Around 30% is average for this digital converter box. This antenna is actually in another video that I did. This is my outdoor version of the HD TV antenna that I see everybody building. On the bottom of it I added this part so I can slide it into a piece of one inch pipe. Out on my fence I have a whole bunch of one inch pieces of pipe all cut and I just slide the antennas right into them. You need to put a grounding block on it in case it gets hit by lightning. You want to space these wires about 7 inches apart. I just took some 14 and 18 gauge wire and used that to make this. I just drilled a hole straight through the pipe and put screws in it. You have to make sure the screws do not touch in the middle. I just simply wrap the wire around the screws. To connect them you have to alternate back and forth. This one connects over to this one, but in the middle it stays connected like that. It goes straight down and connects to this one, and then it crosses over to this one. Now this next one, this one crosses over to this one, it keeps going up here, and then it crosses over underneath to this one. You connect a UHF to VHF transformer in the middle like that. This is my HDTV egg beater antenna that I built. This one has the same end as the other one, so I can stick it in the one inch pipe. I stuck a grounding block on it in case it gets hit by lightning. To make the holes, I just drilled straight through one side and out the other, and straight through this side out to the bottom. I simply looped the wire around the screw and brought it around like this, and brought it over to here. And then this one, I did the same thing, and I took this one over to the bottom. I just simply taped them to the top like that. You want to hook this loop to the center wire of the coax cable, and you want to hook this loop to ground. And I twisted the wire to prevent signal loss, and I just connected it to the grounding block just like that. You want to make sure that there is no way that that copper can short out with the metal for the shield. I would just say put a little bit of glue on here to keep water from going into it and corroding it. Just for fun, I've hooked my 500 foot loop antenna up to this. Now let's see what kind of signal level and the amount of channels that we can get. About average, a little bit below. Now let's see how many channels I can get. Nope, we found four. Ten. Thirteen. Fifteen. Nineteen. Twenty-one.
Looks like all we have is 21 channels. That beats the heck out of the old antenna TV where we only had like four. We used to get like channel 4, channel 2, and 53 and that was it. Well, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I hope this video wasn't formal and be careful if you're going to put antennas outside.